Hello, I'm Entrilithium and welcome to a sponsored Let's Play of Galactic Civilization 3 Intrigue Expansion. So, of course, since this is a sponsored video, uh, I might be biased, even if it's only like an unconscious bias, so I'm going to stay away from my opinions and you can make up your own decisions and opinions based on the footage you see. It kind of works quite simply. So, uh, Intrigue is a new expansion out for Galactic Civilization 3. It adds a load of uh, diplomatic kind of intrigue stuff, as you would expect, but it also adds a load of stuff to do with... Uh, actually having like a government changing government forms and you can actually have like a commonwealth where you have some of these planets towards the periphery turn into like commonwealth planets because they might rebel if they're actually directly under your control and a number of other things so we're gonna dive in with a new game and we're gonna be playing with this uh this amazing race here called the Lysian Empire uh they're just a glorious race um brilliant uh just, just really like they're handsome very handsome uh, very objective opinion coming from me. I said to stay away from opinions. I lied. Uh, so, if we have a quick look at them, you'll see that we have our homeworld is Earth. Our leader name is... Whoops. I should fill that out. Leader name. I always miss that one because it's over here. Do, 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 do. Uh, leader name... Me. There we go. Leader description. I don't mind that. I'll leave that blank. Um, portrait. Did I not put a portrait in? One second. There we go. No, uh, this this is actually just a cunning plan. It's me showing you how easy it is to add your own faction to the game. It's all, it's all planned. Uh, so, we're going to have the default Earth Soul System start. And we have... Oh, space in there. Short name the Empire. Long name the Elysian Empire. We are dense. I, I can test I am very dense. Uh, it means that we can have 20% more mass on our ships, which means they can carry more stuff. We also have militant, which means 10% ship construction. Doesn't necessarily mean they have to be military ships. They can just be stuff like, you know, factories or colony ships. Traders, we get trade route value. We are less resilient, so we take longer to repair. Strategic repair is slowed down 15%, but we are very fast. We get plus two move. I kind of like this. I mean, I'm not going for dents as in, you know, our ships are big and lumbering. Because densities just mean you can fit more stuff. I think that we're just really good at, man like, miniaturization tech. So we can, like, miniaturize stuff to go on the ships. Appearance. Personality. It only matters if the AI is taking control. And fleets doesn't really matter. Uh, we've got Sneaky. Starts with espionage technology. Mainly because, like, intrigue. I wanted to try out the sneakiness. And we're also time travelers. Because I can. So I decided we'll be time travelers, because, you know, why wouldn't you? Uh, right, save civilization, we're good, and... Sure, faction, blah, 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 yes, let's do it, right, next. Galaxy type, medium scattered, that seems to be fair. We could go with, like, a spiral or something, but I'm always a fan of more sort of scattered or loose. I think I'll just go with the default scattered. Uh, all the defaults are fine for me. How to crush your foes, basically everything except for turn limit. Normal sort of gameplay. Don't really think I want to change that. We could make minor civilizations a thing. Like maybe rare minor civilizations. Yeah. And then choose your neighbors. Uh, I'm fine with that. Add random opponents. Yeah. Actually, let's add the Scurrier Splinter, because I did play some one of my playthroughs. It might be fun to face them down. And no, no teams. No teams. You will not be on teams. That is unfair. I'll maybe make you gifted. And... I don't know, maybe... We'll remove the Terran Resistance, because I'm kind of the same colours. Uh, we'll get... Yeah, they get the Dragons on board. Right. Let's start this up. Oh, yeah! If you want to, I'll put a link down below to um, the expansion, if you feel like checking it out. So... 
Uh, I didn't really fill in the flavor text here because I'm terrible at writing flavor text and we'll only see it once. But I also like the fact that my picture is super large. It's like, here's my face, which is maybe a little bit strong. Like I wasn't, I wasn't exactly planning. You can also see that, like you can see the green coming in on the edge there from my green screen because I didn't bother trying to tweak the Photoshop enough to get the green out. I was like, you know what? I've got rid of the main green. I'm good. But it's very noticeable now. I'm like, maybe I should have spent more time on my face. But the less time I can spend looking at my face, the better. Uh, we've got some space junk nearby. We've got a capsule, space junk. A bazaar. Ooh. You can hire mercenaries from there. Prospector. Survey ship. Survey ship fast. Very fast. Extremely long range. That's pretty nice. I do think an early bazaar pick is like a really good thing in this game. Like we did it in the last playthrough and it paid off so much. Like it was great because like turn one, you'd be like, I have an extra thing. If you can see on turn one. Uh, we'll have a quick look at what we want to do on our planet as well. In terms of tech, uh, probably don't want miniaturization. Plus one move is nice. Improved colony buildings is also pretty handy. I think I'm going to improve colony buildings. Just because uh, getting that improved colony building will allow us to get better manufacturing, which allows us to do more stuff. We also need to idle colony. Ooh, arable land. This fertile land is perfect for farming. Hmm. Farming is something I think is new in 3.0. I've also got a floodplain, which is good for population and wealth. Space elevator. All construction plus one. We only get one per thing. I kind of feel the space elevator is a good idea just because it increases our production. Hmm. Can't build. Need sponsored shipyard. Do we not have a sponsored shipyard? Oh, we don't. Whoops. Yeah, we should we should do the sponsored shipyard thing. Earth one. Uh, so Mercury. Earth three. Wait. What? Grapes are coming from not so coming from people. Barely habitable. Oh, right. So they're not Venus. So Earth 3 is Mars. Then Earth 4 is Jupiter, Saturn. Okay, so we don't have Venus because otherwise, yeah, one distance away, two distance away, two distance away. Yeah, Venus would be sitting around here somewhere. Okay. Uh, right. Shipyard. Probably a good idea to get the shipyard builded. Build it? Build it. I'll get the shipyard builded. Built immediately. Right, cancel that. What's this? Does it matter where you go? Adjacency level, plus one level to all construction. I mean, it's got adjacency, so I probably want to put it somewhere where we can get, like, a good adjacency going. So, probably here. Although that said, like, it's going to bug me, but the space elevator should be on the equator. If it's not on the equator, it just doesn't work. Like, it just, the physics of it don't work, because it's a cable attached outwards to a, to a station, and they spin around. And, of course, if you put it up at a high attitude, it's not going to work, because the station's going to, like... The force is just, it, it, it should be on the equator. I should build it here. Um, plus one level to all construction. So you know what? I'm just going to build it here because I can. I know I don't have to, but it's going to bug me if I don't. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, good. I can upgrade that if I want. Because you're just arable land and I can turn it into a farm. Uh, well, we can't really increase our population because we need cities for that. So for now, it doesn't really matter about food. We'll call that done. Uh, this ship. Go have a look at the space junk. It's an anomaly. A secret universe, the first of many, is about to be revealed to you. 
Where did these cargo pods stuffed with goods with literally astronomical amounts of money come from? Where are their owners? Why did they abandon them? None of these questions are profitable answers, so there's no reason to ask them in the first place. Mwah. You have to read the laugh at the end. I don't know, it sounds like a weird mix of, what, like Ferengi and something else? It's bizarre. Then again, it's, you know, my voice, so it's bizarre. Um, great. Oh, also, I can see that it's bugging me on my overlay. That little black box around my face. Yeah, I know the joke. It's not adequately covering my face. It'd be better if it did. Thank you. I got that before you. You can't make the joke now. You're going to make the joke anyway. I know you guys. Right. Let's try and get the next one. A bit more to the treasury. I mean, it wasn't 100. But it'll do. Uh, and then we'll probably come back around here. The extra move is really helpful. Like, extra move in the beginning of the game is so good. Because it means you can get to more stuff and you can survey more stuff when everyone is competing to get the stuff. I'm using technical terms like stuff. Also, I just want to nerd out about the fact that, like, the sun here is casting a shadow on the ring. I'm just, I'm just like that. It's cute. Right, I think that's everything done. I am debating whether I want to... How much would it cost to rush build that? I'm going to rush build that shipyard. Because that means I can now build at the shipyard. Survey module. Explorer. <laughs> yeah, Rector. I'm a child. I'm just going to build a guide for now, I think. How much would that cost to rush? Be quite expensive. Uh, what about mercenaries? Fast survey ship. Long range survey ship. No weapons. Weapons. The weapons might be handy. The mass is like 97 out of 67, so... I think we'll get you just because you're cheap. Well, actually, you're the same price. You're just long range. I'm going to hire you because you're long range. I could hire this one as well. Just go all in. You know what? Done. Greetings from the Galactic Bazaar! Uh, I have no use for mercy at the moment. I just bought a bunch, so we're cool. Um... Right. Are you my long range one? Range 39. Range 200. Wow! 200. All right. Let's look at the galaxy. Just head out over here somewhere. Hi. Fake smile and nod. Smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. Okay, we've got the slime nearby. Slim, slim, slim. Whatever. We'll grab the artifact next. And grab that capsule. Plus 15% research on colonial settlements. Alien computational systems found this capsule so advanced that your survey team lacks the word to describe all but the most rudimentary functions. And we get experience points. Great. Precursive anomaly. Heavily defended. Rex is some sort of vessel. Remains of some sort of vessel. You should take a detour past that space junk. Okay. I think we're good. I will change what we're doing here. There's no point me building that now. Uh, we'll probably just get an erector going. Can't rush it. So we'll just get that going. Normally what you do is you like you get an extra survey ship and then you, you know build some erectors really fast to try and take advantage of the special resources. I kind of went the other way here. An excellent precursor satellites. Harmony crystals. These satellites give the planet a larger sensor range and boost the sensor range of any ship built. Ooh. Kind of want to get that. Also, we are kind of not central, but we, we're, for the purposes of strategy, in a central position. We could be attacked from any direction, so there could be people trying to get that from another direction. Uh, what's this? Excellent precursor elevator. 
Ship construction decrease. Snuggler colony. I always find the snugglers amusing. Ah, that's so cute. Um, increase efficiency of sponsored shipyards. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, that's it for our first turn. Okay. Oh, yeah. You can't survey. Uh, but I do want you to just have a look around, nonetheless. I forget how much crazy move you've got. Fake smile. Alright, that's monies. More monies. Seriously, this is why that was worthwhile. Like, that thing's got itself a lot of money for us. It's almost paid itself back. Totally worthwhile. What's this? Oh, that's your spaceport, you rush built one. Um, right, you. Experience points. That's it for your move, yeah. Also, buying those ones, they've got so much move compared to us. They've got tech, we don't. Somewhat balanced power. Our military rank is great, because we just bought a load of ships. And one of them has weapons, even. Uh, I think we're good. I might actually just get a backbone built. The colonizing. And maybe rush by it? Ah! Will we need the tech? There's a tech for this, though. Colonial settlements. Allows... Uh, construction of improved colonial buildings. Oh, no, we don't. We can just colonize immediately. Because, yeah, we get colonization to start with. So, we can just, uh, rush build that. Right, load colony ship with... We're going to load with a grand total of three. It's going to leave Earth with only two. Eh. Well, no, we'll, we'll load with two. We'll load with two. Now, do we want this, which is research, or do we want this, which is a load of other stuff? I mean, the ship construction is great, but the research will help us to research other stuff to get more ships. Right, treasury. No, don't go to the Precursor Anomaly. Whoopsie. Nougat. Banner world full of strange new artifacts to study. Ah. Right. You grab this. More treasury stuff. Antimatter. We'll make a decision soon about what we're going to do in terms of weaponry up once we see what our resources are like around us. I'm just going to command you to explore. And you. Space drunk. That move. Oh. Hello. It's the Scurry Splinter. I forgot I gave them these ships I got off the workshop. They're so cool. Okay. That's a problem. They're, they're not nice. They're gonna murder us. Uh, research. We've got colonial supplements. That's great. New tech. Zeno Manufacturing gives us Zeno Factory and Starbase Factory, which is helpful. Extra move from that. Basic weapons. Universal Translator. I kind of want to go Zeno Manufacturing. Yeah. How long is that going to take? 13 turns. Well, maybe I would be better off just getting something quick and easy that'll take a few less turns. Well, you know what? I'll do the 13 turns. It's an investment in the future, right? Hi, United Earth. Idle colony. Ooh, yeah. Uh, we could build a factory. We could build a farm. 
We could build a computer core for research buff. How much have we got at the moment? Six research. Population is, you know, back down to three. Growth per turn, 0.1. How much would it cost to upgrade you? 11 turns. 11 turns. Maybe not. Ship construction, we can increase a little bit. I think we've got to get a factory sorted. There, because then we'll get a nice synergy. That'll increase our construction a lot, and then we can use that to build off of the back. So, like, get, like, a computer core or something if we need to. Actually, if we get this world, we'll turn that into our research world. All right, idle ship. Oh, yeah, you've got a really short, like, scan range. Oh, God, the Scurry Splinter are actually really close. We are going to be not enjoying that. Okay, uh, we'll move to like there next turn. Fix smile. Ooh, stuff. Experience. Experience. Treasury and experience. Experience is a bit wasted on this. United Earth has changed to a colonial government. Okay, so that's like one of the things you can do. As soon as I think it's where you get like your first colony, you can choose what you're going to do for government wise. Oh, we're one away? God damn it. Okay. Space junk! Still working on the Erector. Ah, I'm tempted by another Backbone. But 22 turns, because we don't really have anyone in it, uh, anyone to take anyway. Yeah, I'm going to hold off for the moment. We'll just continue building uh, factory stuff. Yeah, the Scurry Splinter are actually the most powerful faction right now. And we are the last in production research. Because we spent our money on ships. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. How much would it cost to actually, like, rush build the factory? Done. Increase our social construction a lot. Um, how much is our income? It's, it's negative. Okay. Provides 50 research to aid research, but takes 20 turns. So that works out at 2.5. Eh, not worth it. Um, I mean, I know I'm wasting a plus one to population, plus one to wealth. Maybe, maybe go there. If I don't go for another factory. Yeah. In an interview, you asked what you feel the citizens of Earth most likely need to succeed as we explore the galaxy and encounter alien species. Determination, free colony ship. Benevolent, free survey ship. Malevolent, free military ship. We've got survey ships. We don't really need a military ship because we've got a military ship already. It's not great, but it's one of the ones we bought has guns. I think determination. And I actually think between hope, determination, and high-powered weapons. It's pretty tempting to say high-powered weapons, but I think it's determination. Because we also get a colony ship. And I think pragmatic is the way to go. Do you have people on board already? Because that's even better. This is great. I like this. I like this plan a lot. Yeah. You seem all good. 
I think you've got people on board. No, you don't have people on board. Okay. Wait, no, you did have people on board. You had one person on board. You must have had one person on board. No. No, you had people on board. We got, we literally got three people because this is 4.4 .4 plus the one, which is the minimum you can have on the colony ship. That's great. Three people. Yoink. Uh, yeah. Finally, after their long journey, O'Connor set foot on an alien world. Untold effort and struggle were required to get this far. But it's only the beginning. The galaxy is filled with worlds for the taking. And studied the precursor satellites. The former precursor inhabitants of this world left a large array of very powerful, powerful satellites in orbit. The giant floating yellow spotlights. We've been able to we've been able to make use of them to extend both the sensor range of the planet and the ships that are built here. Our researchers would like to capture on the satellites for study. I'm sure as it will not have any damaging effect on the array. Hmm. Plus ten benevolent, plus ten sense power to all ships and colonies. Have our researchers find what secrets of their power source so we can use it in our own systems to get planetary production. Or, this is a golden opportunity. Make sure our research focuses on what they find into making weapons more accurate. Plus five percent accuracy. I'm going to say at the beginning of the game, that planetary production, again, pragmatic, that's going to pay off. I think we go pragmatic. Pragmatic. I can words. Okay, we also got Harmony Crystals, which is approval level. Don't need that right now. This is a really nice world. It's better than Earth. Um, we've got Paradise, which is population influence. Damn. Okay. Um, we're too far away to sponsor a shipyard. Yeah, I might have to move the shipyard or something. The construction is only 5.5, .5, but it will only increase it slightly if I get that. And there's no way to get next to the capital. I don't need a harmony crystal. I'm just going to say we go from computing core. Oh, that's a bonus to construction right there. It's a good bonus to construction. It's plus two. So maybe we do get a factory really quickly here. And then we can build off the back of that. I think it will pay off. Done. Okay, so now they've expanded to be on our home world, the colonists are crying out for structure. It is time for us to choose a form of government that is ready to handle a galactic civilization. Let's open the government screen. So, now we have our first colony, we get to pick our government. It's my face again! Yay! Uh, <laughs> cut. Alright, so we've got two choices to begin with. We can get other stuff later on, like you need racial traits for some of them, or I think you need text. Yeah, you can see we've got text needed over here. We're going to go with either colonial or imperial. So, colonial, you brought peace and enlightenment to our planet. It is our responsibility to bring it to the world beyond. So we've got a like social construction plus 10%, grow plus 10%, colony limit, yeah, four. Um, we also hold elections, but we have contracts, we can send missions, which is a thing you can do. Alternatively, Imperial, strict hierarchy. Our history is littered with once great empires who stopped conquering and felt a ruin. We will not be one of them. We get a minus one diplomacy. We get a plus 20% ship construction. We get a plus one move. We still have a colony limit of four. And no elections. Um, I like 20% ship construction, and I like plus one move, but we've kind of... I mean, apart from the military aspect of moving being great, we've kind of solved the big issue of move, which is that in the early game with scouting, move is great. We solved that by buying some scouts. And diplomacy bonus, I mean, it's going to make the Scurrier more likely to attack, but the Scurrier Splinter are probably going to attack us anyway, because they hate us. Because they hate everyone. They are very angry, malevolent squirrels. If you did not see my earlier playthrough, they are very... They're, they're kind of angry. They're going through a phase, and that sort of like really deep emo phase, where they're just like throwing everything against the wall and being like, I don't need any parental supervision! I can do everything! Except they bite. So yeah, basically. Um, so we brought peace and enlightenment. I think we'll go for this, because I've done sort of that malevolent aspect before, and although it would be fun to do it with an imperial government, I think maybe we should check out the colonial stuff. So the growth is good. The construction is also good. So we're going to go for that. 
And then we also have to deal with elections. Once it's changed, you have to wait 26 weeks before you can change it again. Are you sure? Yes. Done. Together we stand. That's also the Commonwealth stuff you can do. This is our government currently. So Colonial Advisor, Manufacturing Advisor, Crisis Manager, and Lock Assigning a Crisis Manager completing a crisis. So once you complete a crisis, you can have a Crisis Manager. Hmm. 20 turns till the election, 26 turns till change, average approval, 71%. Okay. Also, you can barely see it, but that's that's my new logo. It's cute. Uh, right. Ideology. Ooh! Right, pragmatic. So we can go vigilant, builder, trader, or negotiator. Um, apparently people know it's best to prepare for the worst. He sent the the world to be better coped with the harsh realities of the galaxy. Um, which produces pragmatic ideology points every ten turns. Well, it's kind of an all-in kind of choice. And it's not a choice that really benefits us now. It's a, I'm planning for the long term pragmatically. And being pragmatic about being pragmatic, I guess. Pragmatic exception. Uh, which is that I don't really get anything out of it. Except I can build a building, which will get me something else later, quicker. Alternatively, we can go three constructor vessels. Which I'm going to go for, because that's about 24 turns of building constructor vessels. Explorers. Grant a free trader and a freighter and a trade license. That's nice. But I could build one. Neutral. No one declare war on us for the next 50 turns. That's pretty helpful with the Scurrier Splinter nearby. That's... That's actually really good. But we can probably manage that ourselves. I will be very unhappy if I fail to manage that. But uh, it might happen. We're going to pick the Constructor Vessels. That, like, we could pick that. But for 50 turns, we'd be doing stuff normally. Whereas, you know, 50 turns of us just trying not to get attacked normally. And 3-3 three, three Constructor Vessels, which allows to get a lot more stuff. So I'm going to go with Constructive because I just, I just like it too much. It's so good. Hi. Hi. Yeah. I'm going to get one of them to go and kind of get ourselves over the Durantium, the Prothean, and the Research Relic, if possible. What else is there? Prothean here. I don't see any other really good spots. Nothing immediately jumps to mind. I guess I haven't seen this area of the galaxy as much. So if we build here, we'll get the research relic. And if we move maybe two down. No, we can't move two down. We can move one down. So move to here. And then there's a chance that anything here will become in our influence zone. Send another constructor over here. Follow our survey ship. Do a bit of surveying with a constructor, which, you know, you're not meant to do, but whatever. You don't own me. Uh, we could go for this antimatter, which I think is probably a good plan, because there tends to be more than one around. And there is a thulium here. I think we'll be out of range, though. Either way, I think that's the end of the turn. Treasury stuff. Sweet. Um, thulium... Oops, some space junk and a capsule. Yeah, idle ship. A 19 class world. Ooh, and plus five Promethean. A Promethean world created by mining out a Prothean planet. That's really good. Cillian. Oh, hello, hello. That's a colony. I could attack it. 
Okay. Precursor elevator. The precursor lived on this world before us, left behind a completely functional space elevator. This will greatly increase our ability to put manufactured goods into space and will prove very useful to our shipyard. Unfortunately, the public sector and several groups are putting a great deal of pressure on us. They hope to use the elevator to facilitate their own projects. Hmm. Ooh, this is a difficult choice. So we can use it as a vacation spot when it's available, as long as they don't block military traffic, which is, you know, we get plus 5 morale, plus 10% to tourism. We can allow some commercial interest on the elevator. Any increase in income will be helpful. We get bonus to colonial income and trader income, which is nice. I'm not going to say that the money's bad at all. Like, normally I forget about money and then I'm like, you know, oh god, I'm running out of money, I need money, when we get to the mid-game. But Trying to go for a money early on might not be a bad idea. Buy stuff, speed up production. Or the elevator is too valuable to waste on non-military pursuits. If we have spare time, they can lend it to the war effort. 10% military production to all shipyards. 10% is going to be great. Right now it's going to be good. Later on it's going to be amazing. A 10% buff is really, really good. But we have gone the pragmatic path. Pragmatic? Sorry. Pragmatic path. And... The money from Pragmatic would also benefit us, so I think we will go for, we will allow some commercial time. What have we got? Snugglers! Approval, bit of wealth. Harmony! Approval, we get a lot of approval going. Just saying. Um, population, wealth, population influence, okay. So, I think we put down like one factory to begin with, which is a normal like procedure here. Put it there so we get the adjacency bonus. And then after this, we'll probably do something to do with money. Money, money, money. Must be funny. In a... Oh, that's a central bank, so we're going to get one of those. City, not enough food. We can solve that. All right, research. We got our Zeno factory. I think universal translate would be useful, especially with a... Somewhat dodgy, scary splinter nearby. We could straight up just attack them right now and kill off the support vessel. They'll be mad, but that's going to really set them back a lot. I've got eight moves left. Hi. Yeah. Yeah, I really think we have to. Hi. We did just kill, like, several billion people. Let's also kill their one military craft. Which is a sexy military craft. FYI, because I downloaded these at the workshop when I made this faction. So... I'm just gonna say it. That's gonna help us a lot. Uh, beyond that, I think we'll probably just take a mosey around here. Ooh. Debris field. Uh, fake smile and nod. Yeah, I think we're going to... Yeah, I think we're going to turn you into a construct starbase. Your people have had permanent structures in this space before, but nothing like this. More than a facility, more than a place to build ships. This starbase is an extension of your very civilization. Everything you do, everything you're proud of, everything you and your people are, will exist here. Yay! Um, We have got a precursor relic, right? Treasury minus 50. Ooh. Totally worthwhile, I think. I 
And then mining ring, mining ring. That's a good choice. How long would it take us to do Universal Translator now? Still three turns, okay. Uh, right. Oh, first Gerantium mine. First Proth uh, Promethean mine. And meanwhile, colonies around our civilization began celebrating anniversaries of various colonial milestones. This has led to a very confusing holiday calendar, but generally increased happiness. Plus 10% approval for 10 turns. Huh. That's cool. More experience points. Oh. That's an... Surveyor craft. Our sensors detect microscale deformation of physics around your ships. As if it's you don't comply with the physical laws of this universe. Whatever your origin, we hope your goals will be. Ah, because I'm a time traveler. And they know it. Space is large enough for both of us. Hello. Oh, we finished. Yeah, because we set the um, research artifact. We managed to finish that universal translator. Sweet. Okay. Might be worth getting that warfare up, because we are technically at war right now. Militarization. Yeah. Okay, can we put on, not anomalies, trade routes. I'll well, put these on, why not? Ships. Anomalies. Ship range, sure. Um, so we've got Gerantium there. Plus 15% to militarization. I'm down with that. Still looking for just another location to put up a... Oh, I guess we... Yeah, we need to have a look around here. We were going to look for the antimatter area. Well, there's one antimatter. Two antimatter. Oh, there we go. And a thulium. Yeah, I can take that. That seems like a good deal to me. Who's next? Now probably beat me to that. You. Carefully does it. Prothean, Thulium. Looking good. Iceman. Mm, research influence growth. Temperatures are too low for a standard colony. Okay, so we can't do that. Illyrium. I do like Illyrium because it's beam weapons. And I think beam weapons are cool. Uh, but you tend to find it in these nebulas. Nebulae, nebulae, nebula. And technically, we're first in production, second in military, and third in research. We're the most powerful civilization right now. Oh, yeah. I'm going to blame that on, uh, particularly on the early picks of, uh, oh, look, I can get extra ships. I think that was a good choice. For now, though, I think we should call it this episode. So, I've been Andrew Ellison. This has been a lovely sponsored Let's Play of Galactic Civilization 3 Intrigue Expansion. There will be a link down below. Uh, feel free to do the whole liking, subscribing thing. But until next time, when we find out if we're going to continue being a nice-ish colonial government... And if we'll actually keep a majority because we have elections, that's a thing we have to deal with. I've not noticed him. And stay shiny.